Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is the Faces Tigerist and welcome back to uh, Project Zomboid. In this video we'll be taking a look at the metalworking skill. Now this skill is extremely useful and it is recommended that you level it at least to level 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 4 so you can get to metal crates. Now, metalworking is used to actually create metal structures, metal containers, walls, fences, doors, and even a roof. And in order to actually effectively level it, you will need a propane tank, a propane torch, and welding rods, right? Welding rods are used for actual construction. But in, the best way to actually level it is to de deconstruct things. Now, basically, if we head on over here... Yeah, right, you also need a welding mask. Now, this is a bit of a late game skill. Welding masks and welding rods can be found in tool sheds, storage units, uh, where you can find car parts or car repair shops and stuff like that, propane torches as well as well as on those uh, metal shelves when you're uh, looting those closets. Now, with the welding mask, the welding rods, the propane torch and the propane tank, propane tanks you can also find them as loot or you can go to residential areas and find the propane barbecue. You can then right click on the propane barbecue and actually pull out the propane tank. Now, once you actually have uh, the propane torch, the propane tank, so you can actually fill up the propane torch and you have the welding mask which is also an excellent piece of head armor that is face armor you're gonna want to equip all of those things and once you arrive into any residential area you're basically gonna want to disassemble it you can disassemble sinks you can disassemble uh, ovens you can disassemble refrigerators you can even disassemble the popsicle fridge you can disassemble dumpsters and basically almost any metal structure. You can also disassemble bats, deluxe bats, large metal shelves, vending machines, big lockers, bins, file cabinets, metal doors, uh, steel counter, road signs, washing machines and clothing dryers, chest freezer. So basically if you take a look at the Project Zomboid map you can find laundry mats. I know there's uh, there's like two of them in here and basically any residential area that has a bathroom especially the two-story ones are pretty good targets to dismantle deluxe bathtubs and of course there is the metalworking skill book one to five which is highly recommended that you actually get that and read it for your appropriate level so you get the maximum skill boost because this is a bit of a grind uh, it is also recommended that you have a vehicle so you can lug around the propane tank so you can actually go ahead and scavenge that there are also four magazines there is one type of magazine associated with this skill and that is called the metalwork magazine volume 1 to volume 4 they can be found in library schools uh, post offices etc etc each one of them actually teaches you a different thing uh, metal walls, metal roof, metal containers which is essentially the most important one. That will teach you the recipes. You do not unlock the recipes once you get a high enough skill. And you will actually need uh, metal sheets, small metal sheets, which you can actually create from uh, big metal sheets. There's regular metal sheets. And for example, for the metal crate, you will need two metal pipes, one welding rod, a propane torch, two units of the fuel, two small metal sheets, two large metal sheets, and one scrap metal. So that is something that you should definitely be looting and building, bringing back to your base. And that's basically it. This is a late, late game skill. So once you actually dip your feet into the entire project Zomboid, this is definitely a skill you should consider leveling for the long term because it's extremely useful because a regular uh, regular wooden crate without the organized perk has 40 uh, units of storage and the metal crate has 80 but with the organized perk that goes to 104 
So for storing all of your stuff, it is incredibly important that you get it to that level. It is also used to repair vehicles. So if I head on over here, for example, the hood, you can repair it with at least one metalworking skill and two of mechanics. So it's incredibly good. This skill, I believe, will be much more useful uh, in the later updates of the game. At least I'm pretty sure of it. But yeah, in any case, that's it for the metalworking skill. Basically go into any residential areas and just basically scrounge everything up after you read the appropriate book. And just haul all the materials back. Just chuck them somewhere on the floor or something and just keep them in mind that you will need them.